Hi, I'm Megan Bell, the librarian for the School of Health Professions, and this is a video to give you an orientation of the library. So due to COVID, um, things are it's a fluid situation, so please I encourage you to check UAB United to get the most updated information on uh, library policies, or you can also check our website to get the most updated information on library policies because sometimes things change. Um, but I will say that if there are any physical items that you want in the library due to COVID, we do encourage you to either use our curbside pickup service or to place your item on hold online and to pick it up from the front desk. Whether you are on campus or off campus, we are here to serve you. So as you can see from the slide, that many of the services that are available on campus are also available off campus. So if you need articles or you need help with doing your research to get information for your assignments, if you need books or eBooks, or if you need to borrow um, an article or a book, book chapter from another library, you can do that whether you're on or off campus. There are some things such as checking out laptops or having study space or printing or having access to our creative spaces, you will not be able to do off campus. However, most of the things that you can do on campus, you can also do off campus. So think of me as one of your resources. I can meet you in person or online. I can meet you one-on-one -on -one or as a group. Feel free to email me or call me so we can set up an appointment and I can help you with your assignments. Think of me as a resource to help you gather information for your assignments or organize information for your assignments. When you need to get articles or access books, make sure you um, go to our library website. So you always want to go to the library website. If you're off campus, you will be prompted to log in with your Blazor ID and password. So that's really important. If you need help from our website, there is a little chat sliding box that comes out and um, you can use that on the hours that are posted on this slide here. And if it's outside of those hours, you can submit your question to the little slide out box and we will follow up with you the next business day. You can also on the same page, you can set up a one on one um, appointment with a librarian. When you want to get articles from the Lister Hill Library homepage, on our front page, we have a tabs that people on the health sciences side tend to use often. Feel free to click on any of those tabs and it will take you to those databases. When you want to get the full text of those articles, if you're in Google Scholar, you look for a link that says full text at UAB. If you're in any other database, look for a green button that says full text at UAB libraries. If you don't see that button, then you did not access the database correctly and you need to go to the library's homepage and access the database uh, that way. When you're physically on campus and if you want a place to study, there are two libraries on campus. One is the Health Sciences Library. It's right across from the School of Health Professions. And the main library is on the other side of campus. You can access either of those buildings, but you will need your one car to access the buildings. This is the physical space of the Lister Hill Library. This is the first floor, which is where the library is located. And when you come in, you will need to use your one car to get into the library. At this front desk, you can check out um, the books that you need to check out, or you can also check out laptops there as well. The boxes that are on the periphery of this drawing are the study rooms that are available. You can they have individual study rooms as well as group study rooms. In the middle of this floor here, those are public computers that you can use. They have many different software programs that are on there that can help you get your assignments done. There are also printing station and scanning stations that are located around the building. And also there is just, um, some space there available that you can just study with groups or study by yourself in the, in the library building. The second floor of the library is where it's called the quiet area. So if you um, just want a quiet place to study, you can come to the second floor. Also, if we meet in person, this is probably where we're going to meet on the second floor of the library. I strongly encourage you to visit the School of Health Professions library guide that I created. It gives you more information on the things that I've given you in this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to contact me.